Hi loves, just popping on after two plus weeks of vacation to talk with you about how to come back from vacation. I think so often, so many of us come back from vacation and want to catch up. We feel behind, we feel stressed, we're like you're straight to the inbox, we're like scanning through all those emails, trying to respond to everything, trying to catch up, feeling this intense pressure to make up for lost time and being off as though it's a bad thing. And I just wanted to ask you if that's really working for you. So often we come back from a vacation, needing a vacation. Like even work aside, when you come back from a vacation, you've got unpacking to do, you've got laundry to do, you've got sorting, like house sorting, you've got mail to go through, bills to pay, whatever it might be. And so it's just this other thing that we end up putting so much pressure on. So I wanted to give you my little hacks for how I come back from vacation that leaves me very refreshed doesn't cost my business at all. In fact, fuels more sustainable success and growth. Okay, so firstly, I always come back from vacation and have a day of rest immediately. That's the first thing I'm doing. I know, I know you've been told that you should come home and unpack immediately and answer all emails immediately and do all the things immediately. But that's how we end up coming back from vacation, needing another vacation. You're still adjusting to being back, to being in a new environment. Even if it's a familiar environment, your brain is like adjusting to maybe time zone changes. Like there's a lot going on. The best thing you can do is rest. Following on from that, once you've done what you want to be doing in terms of laundry, probably, probably recommend that next. Um, in terms of work, don't jump straight into your email. You are going to be inundated with everyone else's requests and what they want you to do. Instead, just ask yourself, what are my priorities? What are three things that I wanna get done today? I know you're thinking you wanna do more than three things, but hear me out. You don't wanna jump from zero to 100. Like, you really, there's no need, nothing is so important, nothing is so urgent that it cannot wait for you to get back into a state of flow and um, work with quality and high quality and high creativity over just like pounding through a thousand emails. Most of those emails are probably already dealt with or already not, not important and not relevant. Save sorting your emails for like after you've done the three things that you really want to get done today. So what are your priorities? Pick three, three is plenty. And then and only after then, do you want to jump into your emails and just close the day off by like deleting loads of them. That will be the best thing you can do is delete and get rid of all the ones that you know are relevant anymore. Then you're gonna rest again and you are setting yourself up for an amazing day tomorrow, your full day back. So this is me on day one of half being back, deciding to do this video for you as one of my three things that I wanted to get done today.